Every year, scientists and space aficionados anticipate what the year will bring. They have never been let down because space is constantly serving up thrilling and occasionally terrifying happenings. The year 2022 wasn't any different, as it was packed with spectacular space events that mesmerized even the most hardened space enthusiasts. Eclipses are nothing new, yet they are nevertheless uncommon enough to draw a lot of attention from the media when they are set to occur. Also, not all eclipses are the same because some are more unusual and rarer than others. The fewest number of sun and moon eclipses that can happen in a year is four, while the maximum number is up to seven. The last time seven eclipses happened in a year was in 1982. This year, we received the bare minimum, which is four. The first one, a partial solar eclipse, took place on April 30, the second, a total lunar eclipse, took place on May 15, and the third, a beautiful solar eclipse, just took place on October 25th. The 8th of November's lunar eclipse will be the last one of 2022, so make sure you don't skip that. The total lunar eclipse will last for a staggering 1 hour and 25 minutes. I would really suggest you to watch this video all the way to the end, so that you do not miss out on this rare yet supremely incredible astronomical event. As a fellow space enthusiast, you're bound to have a lot of questions about the total lunar eclipse, such as when can I watch it? Is it going to be visible at my location? And most importantly, will everything be fine? So, without further ado, let's get started with the video. A lunar eclipse occurs when the Earth blocks some or all of the direct light from the Sun from reaching the Moon. This cosmic event occurs just once every 29 and a half days or the duration of one full lunar orbit around the Earth. Because the Earth and Moon have very predictable orbits, astronomers can very easily forecast eclipses. Why aren't there eclipses every month then? These alignments don't happen at every new and full moon because the lunar orbit is tipped about 5 degrees to Earth's orbital plane, and it is only occasionally that the Sun, Earth, and Moon line up exactly enough for an eclipse to occur. Well, the technical name for that is syzygy. Have fun pronouncing that. However, when the Earth does eclipse the Moon, it generally casts two types of shadows, a wider shadow known as the penumbra and a smaller, darker shadow known as the umbra. Typically, there are three types of lunar eclipses. The most breathtaking is a total lunar eclipse, which is going to take place this year on 8th of November. It takes place when the Sun, Moon, which should be in its full moon phase, and Earth are perfectly aligned, and the Moon is under the umbral shadow of the Earth. Most people are taken aback by the view of this sight due to the intense red color of the shadow. The Moon's typical black and white appearance is entirely lost during this period of time when it is in the umbral shadows. As most of you might probably know that this phase of totality is also famously called the blood moon. However, these are also much rarer, and the planning to observe it needs to be done well in advance. The second type of eclipse is a bit more frequent. A partial lunar eclipse occurs when the Earth's shadow does not completely cover the moon's disk. For this reason, the Earth's shadow appears very dark on the side of the moon facing Earth. The third and the last type of lunar eclipse is the penumbral lunar eclipse. It happens when the moon simply passes through the penumbral shadow. The occurrence is so mild that most people unfortunately miss it. This is because the moon is only a tiny little bit darker than usual. Now the moment you all have been waiting for, let us now look at the places where this year's total lunar eclipse will be visible. The lunar eclipse will be visible in most parts of the world, including the whole territory of the United States and Canada, the entire continent of South America, Australia, and some parts of Europe and Asia. Here is an animation to help you visualize the path of the eclipse. As we can see, most of the eclipse will occur in the region of the Pacific Ocean. Let us now look at the exact timings of this lunar eclipse in some world locales. San Francisco Seattle Los Angeles Denver Austin Oklahoma Chicago Nashville Ottawa New York Boston Santiago Brasilia Rio de Janeiro Madrid London Paris 
Rome. Dubai. Baku. Kabul. Islamabad. Lahore. Mumbai. New Delhi. Kuala Lumpur. Singapore. Jakarta. Manila. Tokyo. Seoul. Sydney. Auckland. Lunar eclipses are said to foretell earthquakes. Southern California's foothills of the San Gabriel Mountains were hit by an earthquake with a magnitude of 6.7 on February 9, 1971. Fifteen hours later, there was a total lunar eclipse. Many people thought that the Sun, Earth, and Moon alignment was to blame. It is believed that the Earth was being pulled in opposite directions by the Sun and Moon. The effect was that the Earth was crushed into a rugby ball shape rather than remaining a sphere. The tidal and gravitational forces caused by this may have caused the earthquake. However, any relation is highly inconclusive. Do you agree or disagree? Do eclipses have any significance, or are they just random natural occurrences? A lunar eclipse is completely safe to view with bare eyes and offers no risk at all, unlike a solar eclipse. Bring your family and friends so that they can enjoy the amazing astronomical event in your backyard. By the way, did you know that, as the moon moves farther away from the Earth each year, total solar eclipses won't be possible because one day, billions of years from now, the moon won't be close enough to the planet to completely fall under its umbral shadow. Until then, we may enjoy watching the shadow of our planet cast on the greatest object in the night sky. Till then, I wish you all the best for your moon gazing, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Give us a like and share it with friends. Stay tuned here by subscribing to avoid losing out on anything. Consider subscribing to the channel if you liked the video. And as always, thanks for watching.